So we're mounting a first aid kit box under the driver's seat of a 1999 323i or an E46. Uh, this one, I could not find good sheet metal screws that wouldn't interfere with the sport seat thigh bolster. Um, found some instructions that said tap it for an M61. So I'm doing that right now. Uh, you can see I've got the uh, tap right there on that hole. That would be the inside uh, of a US E46, the driver's side towards the center of the car. Uh, the second hole, uh, I'm not sure if I can spot it here, should be right about there. There we go, you can see it. The third hole, haven't gotten there yet. Um, gonna be a little harder to tap because of its location. It's right here in the middle, um, right above this bar though. So I'll need to figure out a way to get to there. I am tapping this with the seat in the car. Um, saw a couple of people mention that to get that tap up in there, you have to unbolt the seat and tip it back or uh, you can leave the uh, airbag harness uh, down there on the floor connected if you do that. Uh, if you are gonna disconnect that airbag harness, you will want to remove the battery as well or disconnect the battery. Otherwise your airbag light will come on. So I'm gonna finish tapping that. I just have a simple Craftsman nut driver. Got the tap and die set from O'Reilly's local uh, uh, auto parts store tool loaner program. So this one took me mm, all of three, four minutes. Um, that, that's it. So fits up under there. So I'm gonna finish tapping this one and then I will grab my M61 screws and get the right length. Still have to go buy those, but I'll put that in here in just a couple seconds. Okay, so got back from the hardware store. I bought some M61 10 millimeter uh, that seemed to fit in there just fine. Uh, don't interfere with the seat bolster. So working on putting those in. Uh, I've got the first couple, hopefully you can see this here. I'm just, uh, I already pre-mounted the other side just loosely. So now I'm just fitting this up in here. You know, maybe not with the video camera. There's that, so there's that. That one's in there. Let's just slide this over. You can see the other mounting hole right up in there. Check the thigh bolster. Looks great. And that mount again. Uh, you can see the back hole right there, right above the, right, right there, um, up above this bar. But that is on there secure. I don't believe I'm gonna have any rattle there. If I end up having any rattle, I'll just get a little rubber gasketing material or something and um, slide it between. But just uh, get this on wrench in here. It's gonna tighten these down a little bit more. There we go. Just that one. There's that. Okay, so putting the box on, uh, the, you'll test fit the bracket first, I'm sure. It, you should have. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It just slides right into the grooves on the top there. There's a main clip that clips into that large hole. Um, I'm going to show you it here, sliding in under the seat. All right, so there's my seat and bracket. I'll close the box here so you can get a little more light. Uh, see if I can keep my head out of the way as well. Just slides onto the bracket like that. Pushes in the box. I should hear a click. So I can't see that. Let me back that up. Also get my uh, head in here. Hmm. Let me get to see what's blocking it. If anything, else, this might just be the seat.
there it is all mounted up um, mine took a little more force maybe the you know age of the box age of the car but i'll mount it up under there and that's it and then let's just check the seat functions make sure they all go you know up down backwards forwards all of that thigh bolsters still work works great uh, it's I definitely don't believe I'm going to get any rattle out of that. The box has a little bit of scuffing on the front. It wasn't brand new. Had it in a other E46 that I used to own a few years back. So now I've got one under my passenger seat. Uh, this car came straight from Germany. So it actually has the first aid kit in there. Original owner picked it up in Germany with the first aid kit. Um, pulled this one. Uh, got this box from another one. Uh, popped it in this one under the driver's seat so that I actually have some storage spots. So there we go. Hopefully that helps somebody out. Isn't too difficult. I've heard guys getting sheet metal screws, um, doing that instead of tapping it. Frankly, the tapping was really easy. I could get the right size screw and secure it all up and not interfere with my seat bolster. So hopefully that helps you guys out.